guys, it's Nikki with Nikki Speaks, and I am back with another video. But before we get into it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on your notifications. Okay, guys, so we have some things to get into, okay? We're going to go ahead and start with Miss Sweetie, who drops her EP, The Single Life. And listen, fans were waiting for this particular EP to drop, just to be nosy. Listen, I was one of those, although I had my reservations about what she would and wouldn't talk about. And I'm just going to say off top, off the bat, I was not intrigued. You know, I listened to it music wise. It was just blah, but Tweety is not, you know, she's not a rapper rapper. You know, she's cutesy and she can sometimes get that catchy hook where, you know, if it play on the radio enough, you know, it'll catch on or it'll catch on TikTok. But, you know, so the music for me was just like, mm um not so good so let's go ahead and talk about what she talks about on that ep one of the main things that i was hoping that she did address she said absolutely nothing about unless i missed something you know i wanted to know about her and offset there's this huge rumor going around that her and offset had something going on she slept with them it was something inappropriate and she has not addressed that rumor that's the big elephant in the room the little baby the quavo incident none of that's the elephant in the room we know that you and little baby had a little fling we know that he denied it we know that you posted the pic on your instagram page exposing you guys we know all of that we don't need to know anything else. I didn't really need to know your side. I mean, we kind of saw everything play out in the public. I feel like deep down you were feeling little baby. That's just my opinion. You guys let me know what you think. But I feel like you were feeling little baby for you to go to the internet and post that image. You knew what you was doing. You were exposing that, hey, we are kicking it. That's what you did. Well, if you were standing on what you're standing on, when he reached out and told you to pull that picture down, all you had to do was keep it up but he did make you take that picture down so listen we already know what happened there the quavo situation he cheated on you you wanted to get some get back the get back was little baby but what we did not know and what we did want somebody to talk about was well, did that get back also include offset listen i'm disappointed i didn't get the tea that i was looking for but hey maybe you guys did you let me know what you think down in the comment section do you feel as though you got what you needed in terms of music wise and the tea now i'm not gonna go too deep into all of her songs on the ep some of the things that she did say and again i feel like they were all in reference to quavo and all in reference to Lil Baby. I don't think anything was in reference to Offset. But one of the things that she did say was, Widen is always speaking on who I'm effing on. He must got excited when I FaceTimed him with nothing on. Them same lips that's yapping be the ones I nutted on. 100K, please. please. Know how much paper I be touching on? That's light. Better check my net worth. Post a pic in his sweatshirt. I bet it have my ex hurt. That's what I get for kissing on these frogs. He got mad and told my business to the blog. Listen, I don't know who told her business to the blogs because she was the one who added her own self to the blogs um, with the whole little baby uh, situation. Now, if you're talking, if she's talking about Quavo there, then is she talking about Offset? You know, let me know. Either way it goes, I mean, you know, the women are praising Sweetie. Sweetie is out here looking just as bad as some of these F niggas to me. I'm sorry, that's how I see it. But you guys let me know what you think. We're going to go ahead and move right into the next topic. So Jada recently took to her live today and... I'm going to go ahead and let you guys listen to what she had to say about some of the backlash that she has been receiving on the internet from the new reality show, The Impact, that she's on. Come from. Um, so, of course, the internet plays a big role. If you met people on the internet, um, you do business on the internet, stop saying that. Y'all are really lost in the sauce. And I need y'all to, honestly, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, for real, just hush. Like, y'all don't even be knowing what y'all talking about. The internet plays a big role in everybody's lives, hence to why y'all on this live right now. Hence to why y'all be on them blogs and them comments. Hence to why y'all be on TikTok making videos. Like, the internet plays huge roles in everybody's lives. So listen, guys, I totally agree with her. I agree with what she's coming from. I actually said this in one of my previous videos prior to her even saying it. Listen, all of them, including Ari, Jada, all of these individuals, they have made their come up off of social media. Without social media, they would be broke. That's just point blank the end. So for people to say that Jada cares about cares too much about what the internet says, listen, they all care. They're just pretending that they don't. 
Ari cares, Tay cares, um, Jada cares. They care. They have to care because it's their bottom line. So I definitely agree with her there. But listen, listen, listen. Ari has been extremely quiet. I feel like she's been quiet uh, throughout the situation because she really hasn't been receiving any backlash. Had she been receiving backlash, I feel like she would have been very vocal about her situation with Jada outside of the show. Kind of like Jada has been trying to defend herself, kind of going overboard defending herself. I think that Ari would have been doing the same thing. Um, but she did take to her Instagram story today and she reposted something very interesting. She reposted a meme that says, beefing with someone and they don't know about it is crazy. And listen, I absolutely agree with her there. But let's be real. She knows why her and Jada don't get along, you know? I definitely believe that she knows why they don't get along. They both know why they don't get along. I think it's a competitive nature, and I don't think it's just coming from Jada. I think that it's Ari, too. You can't tell me that Ari is competitive and she's selfish when it comes to her friends and when it comes to her employees. She doesn't want them doing anybody else's hair. She doesn't want them doing anybody else's makeup. She wants to be the top friend, the best friend. But another friend that's in the same industry as she is and doing just as well as her, she doesn't have any type of envious spirit towards her you can't make me believe that so i think that it's a competitive spirit is probably coming from both of them and that's just how i feel but you guys let me know what you think down in the comment section and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna keep things moving so let's go ahead and let's talk about chloe bailey so chloe recently covered gorilla and cardi song tomorrow too and let me correct myself it's actually gorilla song but cardi is featured on the on the remix and so chloe bailey recently covered the song i'm gonna let you guys listen and i'll be right back you bought a chain i bought the same one even bigger i got you triggered can't say your name up in my songs might not fuck with you tomorrow get my feelings hot today i won't give a fuck tomorrow you go right ahead and cheat nigga on my line tomorrow everything i gotta go back up shit up by tomorrow listen 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 um yeah it didn't do it for me i mean it has nothing against chloe the song itself i am a fan of that song uh tomorrow too i love the remix cardi killed it and i am just a fan of the song overall her cover i just I don't think she's going in the right direction for her career. Listen, I think that she probably should have found something else to do a cover to. Her other covers have been great. She always knocks them out of the park. But this one she did receive a little backlash for. But when is Chloe not receiving backlash? You know, I think that that just kind of comes with the territory with her now. And I kind of feel bad. I really do because I think she's so, so extremely talented. I, I'm afraid that right now is her time. Her time, and I say that because the spotlight is on her nothing that she does right now is going to bypass the public side anything that she does do is going to trend you know she's in the public side that's not translating to sales though for her so i would love for her to right now just kind of take a step back stay in the public side go ahead and get some brand deals so that you can kind of stay in the forefront of the public make sure you're being seen seen at the basketball games you know Make sure that you're courtside. Make sure that you're going to all of the awards. Make sure you're going to all of the fashion shows. Make sure that you're on the scene. But in the meantime, kind of take a step back and reevaluate what you're putting out in terms of music. I would love for her to switch genres. I think that would be huge for her. I think that she could even feed us um, until she kind of gets it right with where she wants to take her career. And what I mean by that is she could feed us um, it's the holidays. Give us a Christmas song. You could do that so well. It's going to be in your big, belty voice. You can give us something soulful. It doesn't have to be poppy. Give us something soulful. That will keep your fans fed. That will keep the streets fed while you take a step back and figure out what direction you want to fully take your career in. That's just my opinion. I think that she has to kind of stay in the forefront, make sure she doesn't disappear why she figures out what's going to work for her, um, you know, vocally and artistically. That's my opinion. You guys let me know what you think down in the comment section. And I'm going to talk to you guys on the next video.